Jess is back. Back in the Del Marva Life kitchen, that is. Today on Del Marva Life, we're going to take on Jess and her radio partner, Bill Baker, in a five minute recipe challenge. Get this caviar. Plus, Sean gets a little challenge of his own. One, two, three, and bright. One, two, three. In today's Day in Life series, he's learning how to ballroom dance. Dancing around social media may have you taking a misstep or two. We're going to warn you about a huge mistake that maybe you made recently and how that mistake could not only be causing harm to your personal life, but might end your career or your college chances. It's a dangerous trend getting millions of hits on social media. Do-it-yourself dentistry. We learn the dangers of this popular practice among teens and young adults and what little devices your parents and grandparents should be looking for to make sure your kids aren't harming their teeth. Plus, learn the do's and don'ts of basic dental hygiene and how probiotics could not only help your gut, but also your mouth. Well, not only do EMS personnel have really important and frankly awesome jobs, but they also get to work with a lot of really cool equipment. And you get to check out some of that equipment at the EMS Day celebration this weekend at the Bethany Beach Volunteer Fire Company. I have your event details coming up. And does this video really even need a description? Del Barba Live starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hopper. Welcome to Del Marble Live from Historic Studio D. And put another notch in your law enforcement belt. Yvette Amanda Sanders was wanted by the Sheriff's Office on a district court arrest warrant issued in January for theft. Lieutenant Tim Robinson of Wicomico County let us know they received several tips as to her location and she surrendered just after midnight this morning. Congratulations, everyone. There you go. All right, so we haven't had one in quite a while. Yep. Here's your geek moment, Jimmy. NASA Wallops Flight Facility has been launching rockets for 70 years. What if they were to start landing them there? Here's the deal. They're thinking about the potential environmental consequences of landing reusable booster rockets and manned spacecraft at the Accomack County Space Center. Now, this is nothing new. The idea has actually been around for about uh -huh. 10 years, but there are several companies that are interested in it, and maybe they could make it happen. Oh, I would love to see that, wouldn't cool. you? Yeah. Okay, from, I guess, the sky to the water. Are you in a tall from ships? The space ship to the, uh, <laughs> to the tall oh, ships. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> the fourth annual Tall Ships at Cape Charles Festival is next month. Historic tall ships, sloops, and schooners will once again grace Cape Charles Town Harbor to hospitality. You can get up close and personal exploring the decks and meeting the costumed crews, encountering roving pirates, and all kinds of family fun. That's going to be awesome. Now, it is the, the opinion of many that the Nanticoke River is the most beautiful river tributary to the Chesapeake Bay, and that is why the Nanticoke River Marine Park Festival is hosted in Blades every year. This is the third year for the event, sponsored by the Nanticoke River Sail and Power Squadron. The festival kicks off with a prayer breakfast in the Marina Pavilion featuring the Good News Tour Gospel Singers. The festival also features all kinds of vendors, boating displays, demonstrations, kids' activities, great food, yep. that's my favorite part, and musical <laughs> entertainment all through the day. Now, I want to go. Third annual Nanticoke River Marine Park Festival, Sunday, 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon at the Nanticoke River Marina in Blades. The prayer breakfast starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. You know, Memorial Day is only a couple weekends yeah. away, and and there's a special recognition on the western shore we want to tell you about. Every year, Delaney Valley Memorial Gardens outside of Baltimore holds an event to honor fallen soldiers from Maryland from the past year. Well, U.S. Army Sergeant Major Wardell Turner, who was killed last year while stationed in Afghanistan, will be honored. The 48-year-old Nanticoke native is the only Maryland-born soldier to have died in the past 12 months. Yeah, so it's going to be a... That's going to be a touching ceremony. Yeah, very you know about that. Well, it looks like Sunday is going to be a beautiful day to defeat cancer. Take a look at last year's event here. The 6th Annual Defeat Breast Cancer 5K Run Walk is going to be at the Tanger Outlet Center in Rehoboth Beach. Uh, going to be a 5K run and walk as well as the One Mile Fun Walk. Uh, the run walk kicks off at 8.30 in the morning with registration opening at 7 o'clock. This event is rain or shine. If you want more information, the number to call is 
672-6435. And it was quite an event when the Airbase Carpet and Tile Mart opened its doors in Dover recently, and they're celebrating by giving back to the community. This is really neat. In the first month, 1% of its sales will be donated to It's All Good in Delaware, a nonprofit dedicated to helping community members in need. Donations also can be made at all locations through July 4th. The new 43,000 square foot store is located where the former Metro supermarket once operated yeah. there in Dover. Good stuff there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a uh, pop quiz. Okay. What do you get the when you mix the cute with the not so cute? Oh, sort of cute? Sort of cute, there you go. Ah. Uh, take this adorable furry cat named Puppet. Oh my goodness. And cuddle it up with a scaly bearded dragon named Puff. <laughs> oh, Puff, now, I love it. Obviously, they are both enjoying the warm sunshine and the view from this window, and apparently Puff, the bearded dragon, makes a better pillow than one might think. Aww. It, see, so there's your sort I of I never cute. thought I would go aww, aww to a bearded dragon. Bearded dragon. dragon. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, you can learn how to do just about anything on YouTube. It's a do-it-yourself bonanza. But just because you can doesn't necessarily mean you should. That's what experts are saying about these DIY dentistry videos. Find out why they're calling them a recipe for disaster. As a matter of fact, your mouth is a whole lot more complicated than you might think. We're going to take a look at the science behind clean and healthy teeth including why flossing does more than just get the food out from between your teeth. Plus, which newer methods are leading to fewer cavities? And newer methods of reaching out to family and friends can lead to some scary consequences. We'll reveal four things you should never post to social media. And a little later on, four people, two recipes, five minutes. <laughs> just when you, get, when you mix all that together, you get another recipe challenge. Power 101.7's Bill Baker and Jessica Martinez join us in the Del Marble Life Kitchen to see who will walk away with today's bragging rights. Del Marble Life will be right back. Del Marble Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Del Marble Peninsula since 1897 your local York and LG dealers, and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.